Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, he's gonna give away a thousand dollars. Someone's gonna get a thousand dollars. Who do you think's gonna get a thousand dollars? Could be you or it could be you, cause someone's gonna get a thousand dollars. Who do you think's gonna get a thousand dollars? He's gonna give away a thousand dollars. You're going to get a thousand dollars. He just gave you a thousand dollars. Count it up. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Uh oh, someone's going to get a punch in the head. <laughs> Sometimes I hate being a cop. How come? It's my car. <laughs> okay, now keep your eyes closed, Mr. Cherry. I'm very, very excited. Okay, now okay. watch this step. <laughs> okay. I think you're going to really love what I've done with your living room. Okay. Okay, now open your eyes and look at this. Yes. And remember that this is before. Okay. <laughs> And this is after. Huh? Well, what do you think, huh? Well, I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So what I'm wondering is why I'm paying you? Uh -huh. You don't like it? Oh, no, I like it. I like it fine. That's why I kept it this way for seven years. Uh. But when I paid you to change it, I expect you to change it. Change, 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 change. Cherry wants a change. You know, there is a change, Mr. Cherry, but it's very subtle. It's not a question of where you look. It's more of a question of how you look. You are doomed for Seiko! Oh! Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, well, what is it? It's a demon. That's what it is. Don't you love it? Well, she kind of expected something more like track lighting. Track lighting. <laughs> Track lighting, Mr. Cherry. Oh, we can get you track lighting. I'll just have to hop in my time machine and set it for 1979. Look, I don't want a demon in my house. You don't want a demon? No. Is that because it adds too much flair? Too much pizzazz? Too much color? Separates you, Paul Cherry, from the common herd? Mr. Cherry, this demon, as you so disparagingly describes it, takes this room and changes it from a place where one sits passively watching television to a space where one does battle the dark forces <laughs> and it's an antique oh an antique yes paul cherry your head is a boil you suck worms i hate your feet <laughs> you don't like no no i like i like fine very good very oh, nice. good then red ants shall devour your eyes while snakes constrict your bowels and a burning, flanking rash shall form all over Face your... yourself. Gotcha. <laughs> so? Well, what does it eat? Live rats? <laughs> <laughs> Live rats. Very amusing. No, no. It eats fear, pain, anxiety. Whatever negative scraps you got lying around your psyche. Mr. Cherry, how are you doing at work? Oh, don't ask that very well. Mm, mm, tasty. <laughs> I think he's going to need a life cycle. You know, he really likes you. David, can I call you David? Well, my name is Paul. Dave, then. <laughs> Dave, how do you do with the ladies? <laughs> Waitress, can I have some coffee with this? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Dave, would you say that you are uglier than, let's say, Jack Nicholson? God, no. Well, yet yeah, Jack Nicholson does well for ladies, right? Yeah. Why would that be? Because he has a demon. <laughs> and now, I have a demon? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> I have a demon! Yes, you yeah. do. I feel sexy! <laughs> let's get a shot of that. A priest! Uh, deity or deities, forgive this abuse of your earthbound ambassador, but my calling is very specific. I'm cutting your head, I'm cutting your head, I'm cutting your head. Oh, uh, hey, happy couple out. Wait a minute. That head, it's already been crushed. I'm pitching your face. I'm pitching your face! Okay, citizens, come on! I'm going to pinch your faces! Telescope down! I'm pitching... Excuse me. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm pinching faces! Pinching faces? Yes! It's a wonderful thing in which, yes, yes, I invented! <laughs> thank you, thank you! What you do is you put your thumb here, your finger there, you'll get the person in the middle, you'll get your target in I know what you're doing, you amateur. You're doing it on my turf. Would you please leave? Your turf? <laughs> oh, yes, my turf. Now, beat it. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> moron, moron. Not going nowhere is a double negative, which means they're going somewhere. Ha! So why don't you get lost, huh? Come on. You want to go? You want it? Huh? You want it? Okay. Let's... Let's go, Carl. I'll crush your head. I'm pitching your face. <laughs> hey, I'm over here. I'm pitching your... Oh, missed. Missed. Missed again. Wow. Oh, I have fallen. <laughs> I got you now. Never mess with a pro, buddy. Out of here. Wow. I sure wouldn't mind giving her about two and a half inches of uh, God's finest. Why don't you give her the whole uh, two and five eighths? I just might have to. I can hear her now. Deeper. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could be talking, giving about an inch and three quarters of love. I read in this magazine, this guy, three and three sixteenths. No way. That would scare a woman. Apparently not. <laughs> Several episodes ago, on this television show, broadcast from this television studio from a spot only a few feet away from where I'm now sitting. In fact, from behind that tuxedo. Where I will now go. I announced that the kids in the hall were having a competition to pick a lucky viewer to be the winner of the Touch Paul Bellini contest. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this competition, the point of it was is that we would fly our guy to wherever you lived in the United States so that you might 
touch Paul Bellini. <laughs> well, the calls poured in from across the country. The next day, a winner was selected, and she soon became known to us as Rebecca Klatka of St. Petersburg, Florida, because that's what her name is, and that's where she lives. <laughs> so then, it was to St. Petersburg that a psyched-up Paul Bellini was dispatched. And now, the exciting conclusion. <laughs> So this is the first guy you ever gave a traffic ticket to? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, come by here whenever I can, you know, uh, get in touch. I understand. So where's your mom buried? Over there, somewhere. Governor, are you okay in there, Governor? You've been in there for a while. Y'all right? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should uh, just pay you now. We'll call it a night. Oh, what's wrong? I got the trots. <laughs> Nervous stomach. I always get this way a couple of days before election, and uh, I'm a little down in the polls. Oh, well, I'm going to vote for you. Thanks. I got the hooker vote. <laughs> and doom, doom. Oh, come doom. on. Come back to bed. I'll make you forget your troubles. Yeah. You want me to pretend to be your wife again? No. Uh, want no, me to thanks. pretend to be a Democrat again? No, but thank you. Come sit down. I know how you feel. Come on, sit. I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? Yeah. You know, when I was just a little girl, all the other boys and girls would make fun of me because I was different. Well... One day on the way to school, the other boys, they were like playing a game, throwing snowballs at me, when one of the snowballs turned out to be a brick. Well, when I awoke a few hours later in hospital with a slight concussion, the most extraordinary thing happened. Let me guess, let me guess. People you thought didn't even know you existed came your aid, am I right? No, that would have been nice. What actually happened was someone threw another brick through the hospital window with a note saying, we're gonna finish the job. But it was there and then that I decided to become a nurse. <sighs> but you're not a nurse. 
Oh, no, do you know what a nurse gets paid? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 nurse, nurse, I'm feeling a certain pain in this area. Perhaps I need a checkup? But I just told you I'm not a... Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> just a second, let me change. <laughs> That's it, Governor. Keep it up. This is great. Honey, that is a great ham steak. Yeah. Just the way I like it. Nice and thick and fried. Thanks, hon. Enjoying your ham steak, Ed Bob? Yeah, I like it. It's really fucking good. <laughs> Ooh, oops. I mean, fine ham abounds, Mom. Well, you know what I do to make it so fa, 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 fa. Said the F word, seven pounds, four ounces. Now he says the F word at the dinner table. Okay, you listen to me, little guy. You don't curse under my roof. You don't curse on my roof or in front of my wife. You got that? Why, Dad, it's just a word. I can use my own words and think my own thoughts. Shut up, Bobby. Why? Do you want this place to be like Tiananmen Square? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Dad. I won't live in your microwave oven world any longer. You people have carpet on your hearts. Sit down and shut up. No, Dad, it's the truth. Look at that ham. It's flavorful, it's juicy, it's well prepared. It's the universal truth. That's effing good ham, Dad. Oh, I get it. You think you're big enough to take on your old man, huh? Yes. <laughs> I'm in the garage. Well, your dad's in the garage, Bob. What do you have to say for yourself? I say that I'm moving out. Oh, where would you go? It's a big world, Mom. There's lots of places. The ocean, Bob. <laughs> Bob, you don't know anyone in the ocean. Toronto? Oh, Bowers Place. Parents tried to put me down just because fine ham abounds. I'm glad I'm in my youth. I can still taste the ham of truth. Hi. Hello, Owen. My parents couldn't deal with the truth, so I had to point out the hypocrisy of their lives. Oh. Well, we're listening to records. Oh, that sounds good, too. Laura. This is supposed to be a get-together and not a party? Someone has to leave. Lyle. Lyle. So listen, Bobby. What, you know, happened? I told my parents to... to fuck off. Wow. So, uh, Terrence... What are you gonna do now, man? You gonna hop on a Harley and drive west? Something like that, Bauer. Although I don't have access to a vehicle as such. 
Although I do have my hitchhiking thumb. Whoa. Huh? Ooh. Who knows where I'll be this time tomorrow night, Laura? I could be helping out a town in trouble. I could be in Chicago, eating bacon and eggs with gangsters. I might even be dead. Sure. Laura, this will be our last night together. Whatever. <laughs> Everyone, this is truly a night to remember. So let's get really drunk. Yeah. But not so drunk we can't remember. Hey, you're not looking so good, Terrence. We need some more pizza. Could they? Could be sick. Oh my God. Here, got this. No, not that side. That's the good side. You can puke on this side, though. Jeez, get it together. Let's get it home. Yeah. Okay, but I'm drunk and I can't drive. Found him this way? Yeah, he showed it up at our place drunk. Night. <laughs> Booze. But no pills. No. <clears throat> Good. Because were you aware that pills and booze do not mix, Bob? Uh, if I'm the air traffic controller around here, he's grounded. <laughs> Mom? Yes, Bob. It was fucking good ham. Yes, I know, Bob. I know. <laughs> Are you asleep? Are you sleeping? <clears throat> Are you asleep? What is it? I can't sleep. I'll try. I tried. I can't. Why don't you watch TV? Oh, there's nothing good on TV. We'll read for a while. Well, I don't want to read. Let's talk. Well, I don't want to talk. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. All right, we'll talk. Your liver will explode, and your brain will swim in bile, and goblins will feast on your buttocks. Your gums will become diseased and ulcerous, and your teeth shall turn to glue. Glue! Oh, yeah? Ed? Oh. Well, let's talk about your day, then. Okay, I gotta work. Things seem normal. Oh. I mean, they put on their act. I go and I go to Kathy, and I say, hi, Kathy. Kathy <laughs> says, hi. Everything's normal. Okay.